Welcome back to another exciting, invigorating, can't put this book down episode. <laughs> Yay. You, I said you Ooh. forgot your cue cards. Yay. I See, I didn't Yay. have to use them this time. <laughs> so full of excitement. It's like it's Marty Gras on here. Yay. <laughs> we did all do shots. Hoot, hoot. <laughs> Uh, not all of us, but... Well, not all at the same time. <laughs> that's, that's, that's true. But yes, thank you again for tuning in as uh, we continue this amazing series, Project Typhon. We have a lot to look forward to. And for those who are just joining us, be sure to catch up on the uh, previous episodes. Uh, they are very, very interesting. We have a amazing group here yeah never know what's gonna happen <laughs> next i'll tell you that <laughs> yeah. yeah i mean man two two episodes ago whoa Whew. <laughs> that wolf man so we'll go ahead and uh let's go ahead and jump in here guys and gals let's go ahead and get this show on the road let's do it so we left off you were on the lift again on the lift again which seems to be your uh, safe haven for the moment. Can't wait to get back on the lift again. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are heading to sub-level two. Gotta hold down. Otherwise known as Asvidel. So, who we have on the lift currently is Charles. That's me. That's you. John Smith. Charles 14. Yay. Dr. Larson. <laughs> Montgomery. Ooh. That's me. You can call me Monty. In June. Can I call you Monty Gumry? Yes. Yes. If that's <laughs> what you'd like to do, you can. Present? I would. Present! Now, we do have a few members who were separated. Oh no. But hopefully that won't be for too much longer. As Dr. Anishi will be coming to your rescue. As if you need it. I mean, we got the big strapping Morgan and Morgan. Yeah, I was going to use my pole climbing skills to <laughs> climb up the elevator shaft. <laughs> I'm not surprised if he would try that. <laughs> Alright, so let's start off with them. You're heading to sub-level 2, and you actually dock at sub-level 2. And of course, once you get there, Dr. Anishi, you know, pops back on the uh, HUD there for you. And he tells, tells you to quickly, you know quickly get off the lift and I will send it back down to the others and it'll be with you momentarily cool I want to ride that back down so I can meet him and then he tells you after he brings the others up he'll work on bypassing the Emerald Queen to allow you access to his level I was just joking about right okay down. you can ride it back down you gonna yeah. be the escort if only I was for two then I could like simulate one of you guys and then send you down I'm not 4 2. You know, I don't even know who is 4 2. You keep mentioning him. <laughs> oh. Tell me more. Four, two. How do you know the answer to things? Just you wait. And everyone is slowly gaining their memories back. Montgomery and Dr. Larson basically received their memories back last week. June has not, and Morgan has not. There's no. John's. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah. Not the other job. <laughs> not yet and of course Charles is gaining it back slowly okay cool and you find your connection with uh, Dr. Anika yes you guys arrive on sub level 2 yes I'm guessing you go ahead and move from the lift so you can reclaim your party members yep <laughs> stop looking at me <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when you get all your memories back, you lose your accent. <laughs> it's one of those things. Maybe the accent was for undercover. It was a side effect. <laughs> I like that idea. Listen. <laughs> I 
think we should. <laughs> you think we if you like... keep this up, I'm going to sound like I'm Courtney, and that's not going to make you happy. Now, easy. Right then, love. Threbic. <laughs> Threbic. Your device, it has, um, has the blueprints of each level that we've gone through, correct? Yeah. Dr. Annika yeah. Lawson. Yes. Can you pull it up? Let us know where yeah, we're going. Yeah, it's right here. What do you want to know? Where we're going? We're going to... Are there any more monsters waiting for us? Things like that that I should know. Like, do I need to beat somebody in the face with my stick right off the bat? Am I climbing off the lift and shoot something in the face with a shotgun? Yes. What am I doing today? <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Double barrels of fun. That's what this is called. I'm going to double barrel your fun if you don't be quiet. You've been kind of feisty since that bathroom incident. You know, I wonder why. <laughs> well, you missed the bathroom incident. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Look. I got a 20. I gave you your, your glove. I got a 24 to, like, perceive stuff. <laughs> All right. 24. So you brings up the level. And as it does, you find that this level is actually the... <laughs> Military application level. Ooh, weaponry. Yes. There's weaponry here, and I believe that just in case this runs out of ammo again, I should probably pick up something else just for, uh, you know, bad situation in a bathroom kind of incident. Not only weaponry, but also may have the parts that you need to fix that gauntlet. Well, that sounds like an enticement. But in order to discover that, you'll have to check everything out. All right, Charlie, up front. <laughs> and I'll tell you here in just a moment. You're going to sound effects to this, right? All the rooms. So, here we go. On this level, it has a plethora of rooms, actually. You've got the guard uh, station, which is the first one that you will pass by. Uh, you also have the armory, firing range, the training room, the operations room, the barracks, and med bay. Well, the armory seems necessary. Let's go there. If that's on the way, I believe we should go there. Maybe get uh, June a bigger gun. Let's get the security guard a gun, too. She is the security guard. Oh, I thought he was the security guard. No, he's a, no, stripper. He's a stripper. He's a stripper dressed but like he's... a security guard. <laughs> he's a just security working stripper. his way through law school. What? He's a, he's a liar. He's been lying to us. I thought he mind. just didn't have, I thought he had underwear that was strange and he just put his clothes back on. He does have both of those things, but he's so, actually a stripper. So he's he a security is, guard. He is a security guard? I believe he stripper? might have been experimented on as well. Okay. Hence the nudity. It's hard to do science experiments on people when they're wearing their clothes. How do you know I wasn't hired for one of the doctor's birthday parties? Dr. Lawson? <laughs> <laughs> I have questions for you. <laughs> I don't think I'm there, though. I'm you're not, not, you're not, not there. You're not so, here right now. <laughs> you know. All right, so shouting up the elevator shaft. Sure. I guess the armory. We're going, going to arm the ourselves. armory first, I believe. Right, who's in the armory? Best. What else? What are the other rooms? Is there a security office? There is. But the I'm, I'm going there. there to start hacking again. Well, by security Guns. office first. What? Guns. Yeah. Last time we didn't find any guns in the security office, and we already got the walkie-talkies. Oh, we do. That's right. So I say we just go straight to the armory. Skip dinner, eat the pudding. So Montgomery's going to the armory. Who's going with him? I'm going. Oh, Charles is going. Way. We're going. Charlie now what? Dr. Lawson's going. Charles in charge. Are you coming to the armory? So, um, the security, office, the security, to security start, office to start looking back, working on this computer. Yeah. All right. You're in the security office. There you are. June? 
Are you going with him to the security office or going to the Who armory? Who going to the security office? The uh, heck, uh, Yeah, John. Smith. Yeah, I'll go to the security office. All right. So you two immediately head to the security office. While the other three make Who their way towards them. never get in any trouble. <laughs> we do perfectly fine staying out of trouble on our own. As you are making your way through this level, you notice that it's actually, for the most part, pretty clean. No slime on the ground. No, no slime on the ground. No cockroaches. <laughs> no cockroaches. Good. The lights work. Very well, tip-top shape. This is heavenly. Almost, right? So it's going to start with you in the security office. You walk into the security office, and you find that the security office is trashed. Uh, that's no computer. The computer is there. The security cameras are offline. And there appears to be bullet holes in the wall. And you find shell casings on the ground. And you find also that the locker that's in the security office is completely open and ransacked. I just need a computer. 23. Mm-hmm. 23, alright. Yeah, you're able to access the computer. And of course, you've got the, you know access to the level at the moment. Alright. So is it like just ransacked? There's no signs of like people fighting in here? Well, there's bullet holes and casings, but there's no blood. No blood. Maybe and they were shooting at Charlie 13. I don't remember that. You're Charlie 14. <gasps> Maybe there's a Charlie 10. <laughs> the look on his face. He's so yeah. excited. I mean, it could be Charlie X. Another Charlie? He had this really awesome mask. Maybe carry a machete. Who knows? Oh, that's kind of scary. My mom would never let me watch those. Uh, Alright, so what else are you doing here? He's working on the computer right now. Mm, I'm just going to watch over his shoulder. Cause just make sure nothing's going on? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Make sure he doesn't push any wrong buttons. Not that I know what the wrong buttons would be. But As you're I, looking I around, did did that. also the familiar green girl Chickadee. Is, Chickadee is standing right in front of you as you turn around. And then she looks at you she says, June Peters, you are an exceptional person. Thanks. You are dedicated to defending the innocent and serving your country. You truly are a soldier at heart. You would have made a great prospect for this program. That is, if you didn't forge your documents to enter the facility. How could you? I know who you are, June. I know what you seek. I can help you find them. And then she disappears. Do I hear this? Yeah. Um, so what you talking about there, June? It's me. Huh. <laughs> so moving no, over. No, I'm hacking. <laughs> <laughs> June Peters. <laughs> All right, while you do that, move over to the armory. All right, so as you guys are walking uh, through the hall here, uh, it, you just can't help but just notice that it, it looks really clean. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, wow. Okay, everything's nice and bright. You do find the armory among we passing other rooms. Do we find arms? Arms in the armory. So you enter into the armory room, thanks to... John Smith over there having access. You're welcome. Can we hear him? <laughs> you get there and the door is red, and all of a sudden you look up at the camera and then it goes green. Well, nice. Let's go on in and get some guns. You Charlie were... could probably have some of them mounted on top of his shoulders or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See if they has any uh, super glue or maybe duct they... tape. I thought you had duct tape. I do have duct tape, that's right. Almost sounds like you're going to make him a machine of war. He's still going to have to... At least a battle bus. Do this to fire him? (laughs) Yes, he will have to reach up and still operate the machinery, but (laughs) it'll look cool. Or someone can just jump on his back. Ooh. (laughs) Now we're thinking. (laughs) Um... Well, let me tell you what you see when you walk into the armory. This is what you see first. 
it's a mess in here. Looks like the entire room has been scavenged. You know, boxes thrown everywhere, uh, shell casings on the ground. You actually do find even bullet holes thrown throughout the room. Mm. But you can investigate further if you like. That's what you see first glance. Is there a mini fridge? I'll check inside the mini fridge. That's where I would hide things if I didn't want people finding it. I'll take it out of the ammo locker, put it in the mini fridge. So you walk through, you do find a mini fridge. What you find in there, though, is a Mountain Dew. I take the Mountain <laughs> Dew for refreshment and healing. I will do the do. But you do not find anything else in the mini fridge, though. Hmm. Does Charles want to look around? I don't know. Um, well, Dr. Lars, I will look around. Do you find anything of interest in here? Any brains? I'll sniff the air. You'll sniff the air? You don't have a nose. I don't have a nose. I'm, I was just joking. <laughs> okay, I'm looking around with my two eyes. I got 30. I got... 30. What's this under? Strength? Uh, you're... No. No, uh, use intelligence. Intelligence? I got 15. 15? You got 30? Okay. So, Dr. Larson, what you find after checking the room, there is a hidden panel. And using your device, you're able to actually access it. And it opens up, and all of a sudden you see... Basically, where it was lined on the wall with lockers and such, it basically opens up. Cool. Uh, what's in it? Well, hidden in here, uh, actually, most of the weaponry had been taken already, but there are actually uh, several weapons still remaining there. They're assault rifles. Yes. I give them to the stripper guard. Mm-hmm. I heard earlier that There's he really some rifles wanted in some. Here. You found weapons. three assault rifles. All Conveniently, right. there's three of y'all in that room. Let's definitely I can't pick use an assault these rifle. up. Well, you can. I'll take one. But you can still carry one. Ooh, yeah. ooh, I'll bring it to ooh. you. You should have ooh. two. Oh, yeah. Because you can actually hold them and do like the Arnold Schwarzenegger Sylvester Stallone. Like, I can hold two different automatic guns at the same time and never lose aim. Awesome. All right, cool. Wow. You seem to know a lot about guns. I know stuff. That's okay, good. okay, cool. How did you do that? Oh. <laughs> Here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Then ready to go. All right. <laughs> I'm just watch afraid. where your finger is. Okay, safety's off. All right. On both of them. You don't want to... <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't waste the bullets. No. Okay, okay, okay. Don't waste. Okay, I won't. You're right. You're right. Also, I always, um, that was cool though. Not always. <laughs> you find some ammunition for it. Um, you find basically a D6 of ammunition uh, for the assault rifles. I'll write that and down. Whoever has the other one. You have two. Whoever has the other one has a D6 ammunition as well. One D6. Who has the other one? Ammo. Tony has one. Montgomery has it? Yep. Monty has the other uh, AR. The assault mm-hmm. rifle. Got it. All right. What else do you do in here? Um, any excess ammo? I mean, that's basically what there was. Right. Everything else looks like it's already been pilfered through, taken, or used. As you and find you said many casings on the There ground. was a security office, am, uh, armory, mm-hmm. research. Uh, or see. medical bay. Is it? Med bay, firing range, training room, operations room, barracks. I'd say the med bay and the operations room are probably of the most significant interest. What would you think, Doctor? Yes. Uh, well, let's try the med bay first in case there's any of the equipment that you need to make your glove work. Okay. Wait, who's glove? Your glove. Your gauntlet. My glove, right? Your wrist gauntlet. Oh, I ha, gave ha, you your freaking glove mine back. Mine that you stole? Look, right. I, I put it somewhere for safe uh-huh. keeping. 
Uh-huh. You have it now, don't you? Was yeah. it pilfered? Only because I was watched you stolen? get it out of your bag and called you out on it and smacked you, know you in what? the face. I was like, here, have it. I don't yeah, care. This is the bathroom scene you missed last week. <laughs> he stole my research, and I only happened to find out about it because he was pulling it out of the bag in front of me. I could have done it, like, not in front of you. <laughs> he schmoozed me to get to my research. See, it's like not my fault I was born looking the way I am. <laughs> <laughs> to medbay you go. <laughs> you're, gonna, <laughs> you're gonna need it. This is the one good thing that was ever given to me in my life. It's my face. Everything else was pure horror. I agree. <laughs> All right. So as you head to medbay, along the way there, you actually do find something that's in the hallway that is uh, peculiar to you. Don't say it's a cockroach. It's not. Okay, good. It appears to be... It's a giant cockroach. <laughs> I was going to say that. Look at that really it's big huge. one. It appears to be um, a suit. It's basically like a uh, like a full body suit. Very high tech looking. It's just laying on the ground Oops. in a puddle of blackness. Can I scan it? Mm-hmm. You don't have to roll for it to scan. Before anyone tries to put it on. <laughs> so you find it and you scan the uh, the suit. And apparently it's uh, nanotechnology is what it is. Uh, something malfunctioned with the suit itself. but uh, And that's why the ooze is there? Potentially. Uh, the suit is actually tied to uh, genetic signature. So... <laughs> Oh, like you can't wear it unless it recognizes your genetic signature? Correct. Would I recognize the technology as something we've been researching, or is it something outside of the facility? Uh, see, for you, it's probably outside of yours, yeah. I mean, okay. this is something completely different. But your research probably led to this. That's where we can connect the dots and add on. Now, as far as the black goo goes, what you're pulling is it has actually multiple uh, hits when it comes to DNA, which is very, very strange. Not only do you find human DNA, uh, you also find... Robot DNA. <laughs> you find uh, snake DNA. You also find lion DNA. Very interesting. I stick my finger in it and I smell it. <laughs> That's Fresh it. DNA. <laughs> rub, rub my gloved hand together as if I'm figuring out what it is. So when you put your finger in it, it's like goop. Oh, don't taste obviously. It. Like when it talks to us, business. Mouth. Don't put it in your mouth. I just freaking said don't put it in your mouth. It, oddly enough, it tastes of boysenberry. It's like a toddler. <laughs> don't put that in your mouth. That's how Why you, did you just put that in your you mouth? You know what? Scent. Taste, hearing, that's how a hunter hunts, okay? You do your thing. It's already your... dead. But there may be more just like it. Well, now you can lick them too. I will. Just a lick, though. So you find that on your way to Med Bay. <laughs> you just continue but on. But the armor, the, it's. You can't use it. Well, you said who's it, who's it lined up with, and then you never really found out. It, yeah. It doesn't matter. It's not lined up with you, so you can't use it. What, but what if it had been? Are what you, if it's for the stripper? Unless he's part lion and part snake. I don't think it is. There are some qualities. Oh, he's part snake. <laughs> <laughs> and he's cold-hearted. <laughs> Welcome to the chakra. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, let's just, okay, we'll leave it. Maybe, wait. Does it look like there's any kind of component to it? Like, is it just body armor or does it look like it's mechanized in some way, shape, or form where it could, like, operate? No, it's just like, It's just body like armor. riot gear. It's more like a, uh, it's like a bodysuit, basically. Okay, so nothing that I should be afraid of. Okay, let's let's just yeah. keep on rocking and rolling. Go to the med bay. 
and see if there's any like heal me pills left out in the open. <laughs> All right, you guys continue that direction. Back in the security room. Mm-hmm. You successfully get into the system. What were you looking for? Well, I'm still trying to figure out who the Emerald Queen is, but I'm also kind of looking for June. Yeah. Well, you do find her file in there in the system. Let's take a little gander. <laughs> so, according to her file in the system, um, she is actually uh, one of the top rated security professionals. Uh, that in this facility, she is actually one of the ones who have trained most of the security personnel here. Now, she actually came over to work for this facility uh, due to a high recommendation from uh, Dr. Onishi himself. Konnichiwa. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't kill me, June. <laughs> I'm your friend. <laughs> I saw your eyes turn green. Please don't kill me. <laughs> but my eyes are green. No, they're not. Her whole eyes turned green. <laughs> so at this point, the lift arrives. You guys see this from the security office. However, people on it. you only see two people. Wait. John they? and then Morgan. The stripper has mm -hmm. returned. Where's doctor? Where's the good doctor? The good doctor? <laughs> and the, the, no. no, no. The good doctor's not here. The better doctor's in med bay. So, uh. for you two, which you witnessed down there. It's a good save. When we were stuck, you decided to basically go investigate further with the doctor. And uh, as the lift was arriving, and Dr. Nishi was able to get a hold of you, you made your way to the lift. However, at the last moment... Uh, the doctor, she what? turned around because she heard a cry for help. She is the good doctor. And so, being that the person that she is, she can't turn that down, especially after what happened to the creature. Oh, she needed, right. Yep. She needed to redeem. Yeah, that was his fault. <laughs> but see, we don't know that. <laughs> don't know that. No. I mean, even I was in the room, and I don't know if he purposefully hit the wrong button or if he knew it was going to do that when he hit the button. I mean, that's why I'm keeping a very close eye on the ones who go in the security office now. So you two arrive on the lift, and so you get there, and you see the security room. You see them, you know, in the little glass window. What do you two do? Um. I guess I'll explain to them what happened with the doctor and I guess see if, I mean, I'm thinking that my character would probably want to go get her back see, or at least see if there's a way to go down and retrieve her. Well, that's, uh, that's what uh, Onishi's doing. He's sending the list back down uh, Okay. to retrieve her basically. Because he can actually, he's actually tracking her. That's how he found you guys. Um, he's actually tracking you with the biochips. So he can track her. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to go explore one of these rooms that hasn't been explored. Let's see. So you, do you meet up in the security office first and just kind of catch up with them and find out where everybody is? Yeah. Yeah. Find where people are and then they're going to medical bay where they're going. Well, you two arrive in the security office. June, John, mm -hmm. go for it. As you, right. they've already, they've basically explained what happened to the doctor. So at this point, what do you do next? I'm still, um, still typing. Now I've got out of her file. And I'm still trying to find that queen. Yes. Where do you, th where do you guys think I should go? Based on what you've seen, like, can they see into all the rooms? Uh, well, the not the armory. Are, so you, you should not go there oh. at all. There's nothing there. <laughs> we got guns. No. <laughs> no. Get off the walkie. <laughs> I'll go to the um, training room. Maybe there's something there that I can read. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a gun, guns for dummies manual or something. <laughs> 
Maybe he can get trained. This isn't like Skyrim. You don't just find a broken <laughs> plus one to my skill. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh. And hey, what about you, John? I'm going to go to Medical Bay just to be with them. Oh. You guys can use some assistance. No. Do I see what's in the hallway, though? You do. Can I put it on? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> He is just wearing overalls. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can put it on. Okay. I mean, with the goo on it? I kind of shake it off a little bit. <laughs> okay. It's kind of like... <laughs> it's like a helicopter in the hall. Beating <laughs> against the wall. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, you can put the suit on. And it's actually very interesting because... It fits me. <laughs> <laughs> It's a perfect fit. The suit actually, um, on its, on the wrist actually, is this dial. And uh, actually when you grab it and touch the dial, it uh, basically the suit kind of just shrivels up back into the dial. Ooh. So then you kind of put it back on your wrist, and then when you activate it again, it basically puts the suit on you. Ooh. However, there's another function with it, but it doesn't seem to be working because your genetic signature doesn't match it. Oh. So really, all it is is just a, a suit. <laughs> it's cool. You know, you're just like, well, that's all fancy looking, but better than overalls. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, you continue on medbay? Yeah. All right. Fantastic. With my new suit. <laughs> go ahead. Take us up there. So, the three of you reach medbay first. Of course. This is the race, and we are winning. <laughs> when you first enter mid bay, it basically looks like everything's in order, unlike the previous room that you were in. Yeah, you, it looks you have a um, kind of like a gurney, you know, for patients to sit on. Uh, you've got the table over here that has basically medical devices and such. But for the most part, in here, what it looks like is that it was uh, a lot of equipment for scanning. And for keeping track of like heart rate, uh, blood pressure, such like that, vitals. That's what most of this equipment here is used for. Hmm. Is there like a um, an emergency kit, like a on the wall? Yes. Open it up and see if there's any kind of like a nephrine or. Yep. Yep. And emer- it's an unused that- emergency kit. Are you looking for adrenaline? <laughs> yep. Do you need coffee? <laughs> Well, no, I'm just saying, like, if it gets down to the wire. Um... You do have a Mountain Dew. Right? I have a Mountain Dew <laughs> and, and <laughs> Adrenaline now, so... Watch out, world. I can turn into Godzilla Hulk, man. <laughs> and if it was a Twisted T, it would have been a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure if you mix all those together, you get Surge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Surge. Surge. Woo! Uh, jolt, man. Jolt. Double jolt. Or mega jolt. I miss jolt. But yes, you do find an unused uh, medical kit hanging on the wall. Okay, and it does have epinephrine in it? Mm-hmm. I'm going to take that syringe and put it in my cargo pocket. Yep, it's got one use of that, and then you got a D4 of uh, medicine. I have a D4 of medicine. If only I knew how to use medicine. I wish we had a doctor. <laughs> I'm not that kind of doctor. Oh, Montgomery, as he looks at the wound. Mm. Ah, that's going to need a lot of tape. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> well, I'll keep it in in my pocket, then, I guess, or on my backpack, <laughs> or in my duffel bag of secrets. Maybe I have a you compartment guns. you can keep it in. Oh! Yeah, next to the brain. You do have storage compartments. Uh, yeah. I have a duffel bag. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I can carry your duffel bag. Is it going to get brain goop on it, though? It might. It's chances. I okay. have more than one. <laughs> yeah, well, that's fine. Let me check to see if I have another compartment. You're big enough to, like... You literally just licked the DNA goop out the hallway. <laughs> I, I was hunting. Gone. That's different. This is a brain. I know where it is. I don't know how to find it. I smashed the other one on accident. I'm going to have to live with that. All right, so do you have anything else in this med bay? <sighs> is there anything else that you see that you might need uh, to fit the cognitive doctor that you are? Um, I'm a scientist. I, don't, I mean, like I'm trying to fix your glove, your glove thing. So I don't think 
I don't think it needs a band aid. I mean, well, that's fair. It needs science. <laughs> but science no, stuff No, I can't exists. tell if there's anything in here. Probably not. What'd you get? Um, 16. 16. You're going to roll for yours, too, over there, Trump. Yeah, 16. 25. All right. So for Medbay, real quick, uh, what you discover uh, is that essentially soldiers are, were living in this level. They're part of some kind of program, and that their vitals had to be monitored daily. Okay. Other than that, you don't really find anything else that's useful here. Well, then we go to operations, I guess. As you begin to leave the room... <laughs> Here comes John skipping down also, in that goopy uniform. <laughs> you open the door and John's standing right there. <laughs> this is so oh, nice. he put on Thinking the suit, y'all. Oh, he, it, it smells it familiar. It's a suit. You should lick All it. All you guys see is a suit. So they don't know that it's John they unless know he it's says... John. <laughs> I'm your father. Hold it right there, suit. I told you to stay on the ground where I left you. Don't make me stick you. Now hold the stick out in front of me. I will do it. I like hit the little button. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, good. You're just covered in the goop now. I know. Actually, it's like dry clean. <laughs> Oh, yeah! You find his new toy. Yay! I avoid shooting him, you know, like as soon as I see him. But it is startling to see somebody just skipping merrily, merrily. Yes, (laughs) like the suit didn't so much throw me off as it was happy to be here. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So, what do you do, John? Um, I ask what they're doing. We are looking for stuffs. Find anything stuffs yet? Oh, I found some stuffs, but we're looking for more stuffs. Like, base of the line, I found this rifle. You know, that's pretty cool. Um, nothing else. I didn't find anything else. But we're looking for more stuff. All right. I Each of these levels stuff. seem to have stuff waiting to be found. Hopefully no more dogs. I just figured out how to do that. <laughs> e fun. <laughs> Charles, you hear that? <laughs> so yeah, we're going to head over to the operations room just in case they've got information. Digipads, uh, whatever those things are. Y'all Digimon. Are They're called Digimon. <laughs> Digimon. Digital monsters. Does Charles have uh, guns as a skill? Yes. He is um, He is T and guns. He's just been trained by the gun master. <laughs> oh, oh, great. So... But on his sheet, he has T. 